is Evan from m 2 bhd and today I have my first LEGO Scooby-Doo set. It is the Mystery Machine. This is set 75902. It's recommended for ages 6 to 12 and it's 301 pieces. This one comes with four minifigures. Scooby-Doo, Shaggy, Fred, and a zombie. On the front we have a big scary tree chasing the Mystery Machine and a zombie chasing Shaggy and Scooby. Okay, here's a look at the back of the box. Looks like it's a cool vehicle with some nice play features. On the bottom it shows you all the different characters. Okay, let's open this up and take a look at what's in the box. We have bag number two, bag number one, and bag number three. We have two instruction booklets and a whole bunch of stickers. For being a small set, it has a lot of stickers. Okay, let's build the mystery machine. Okay, so here we have the completed mystery machine, and let's start off with the minifigures. First up, we have Fred. This is currently the only set that you can get Fred in. He's got his blue pants, a blue shirt, a white sweater, and his famous orange ascot. He's got his nifty blonde hair, and he's got two faces, a sly face and a scared face. He also comes with a copy of the Daily Babbler and a working magnifying glass. The newspaper says, tree comes to life, which doesn't really make sense because all trees are living organisms. Next up, we have Shaggy Rogers. I don't think he's related to Mr. Rogers, but he is known as Sammy in some countries. He has some burgundy pants and a green v-neck t-shirt. It has some lines in it to show that it's kind of loose and baggy, and his arms are two colors. He's got a new light brown hair piece, He's got two faces. They both have little whiskers on the chin. One face is happy and the other face is sad. Next we have Scooby-Doo. His body is all one piece and his head is a separate piece. His tail is kind of rubbery and the rest of his body is hard plastic. He's got some black spots on him, a blue collar with the SD dog tag, and he's got this puzzled grin on his face. He's stuck in a pose with his leg lifted. Good thing it's not the back leg. On the back, he's got a little stud, so you can attach a Scooby snack, or somebody can ride on him. His head fits on this little post. The hole in his head is small, like the ones from the Lego Friends mini dolls. So you can't really put it on a regular minifigure. But if you have a mini doll lying around, I'll just borrow this one from Julian, and let's see how it looks. Buddy. Okay, Scooby looks pretty good. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> and finally we have the antagonist, the zombie. This guy's got some dark brown pants, a tattered shirt with a green coat. It's also got some green hands and head and some scary looking red eyes. Like most villains in Scooby-Doo, this is a mask. And you can see on the back that there are two buttons. But he doesn't have an alternate face, so you can't find out who he is. So I guess he's stuck with a mask on. Aw oh, man, I know I shouldn't have used super glue on my mask. Okay, it's time to roll in the mystery machine. Here's a look all the way around. This is a panel van from the 1960s. This one looks very similar to the one in the show. It's light blue and green with some hippie flowers on it. This set had a lot of stickers. There are some printed pieces, like these hubcaps with flowers on them, and also the spare tire cover. Everything else you see is a sticker. In the front, it has a nice little windshield piece. On the side, there's a big sign that says the mystery machine. On the back, there's two red tail lights, and the whole thing opens up like this. The roof has a little rack system, and you can remove the entire roof like this. 
There's just two little studs holding it in place. There's a lot of cool stuff inside. There's a little flashlight and a camera hanging on the wall. There's two bulletin boards on either side where they can post clues. There's a little sink on one side with a giant sandwich next to it. On the other side, it looks like we have a four burner stove. Towards the rear, we have two computer monitors. One says danger alert. And on the other side is a radar tracking screen. On the back, there's also a little cassette tape. On the floor, there are four jumper plates. And on the bottom of Scooby's feet are little cutouts. And it allows you to put Scooby in here. And there's also a little hole for him to talk to the gang in front. Excuse me. There's a dashboard with the radio on it and a speaker on each side. In the front seat, there's room for two minifigures. But in the instructions, it says that you can stick all of them. That looks a little crowded, and it's probably against the law. Let's stick Fred in the driver's seat because I think he's the only one with a license. We'll put Shaggy in the passenger seat. There's no seat belts up here, but I don't think they were required in the 60s. Okay, now let's move on to the mechanical tree. This thing has a big sticker on the front, just a half cylinder piece. On the back, he has a little screen with some controls. And you can see the mystery machine is the target. And on the bottom, there's a little jewel, probably what the zombie stole. The arms are on ball joints so you can move them around. And the tree pieces on top can ratchet up and down. You can put the minifigures in his hands like this. Help, help, this guy's gonna give me a splinter. And there's a little place for you to attach the zombie on. And now you can control it from the top. Brains. Faster, faster, they're after us. Sandwich. Ah! Ah, not that fast. Okay guys, so that was the Lego Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. And stay tuned because I'm gonna be showing you guys some more sets soon. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time. Bye.